Differential display PCR is used to specifically amplify messenger RNA from eukaryotic cells. The technique is valuable because it allows the researcher to assess the expression of many different mRNA molecules simultaneously. This technique is a combination of RAPD with RT-PCR and has one clever modification of its own, the use of oligo-DT primers. Since almost all eukaryotic mRNA molecules have a 3' tail of poly A, an artificial primer made only of DT will be spared to this tail. This method of PCR allows the researcher to compare two different growth conditions on many different genes, rather than just one gene as in RT-PCR. As in RT-PCR the RNA is extracted from the cells and the corresponding cDNA is made by the use of reverse transcriptase. Then a PCR reaction is run with two primers, one, an oligo-DT primer that binds to the three prime end of all cDNA copies of messenger RNA. 2. Since the sequences at the other end of the mRNA molecules are unknown, the second primer is actually a mixture of random primers similar to those used in RAPDs. These two primers ensure that there are not too many or too few amplified fragments. The result is the amplification of many different DNA segments corresponding to each of the messenger RNA molecules in the original mixture. As usual, gel electrophoresis is used to separate the different components. This gives a series of DNA bands corresponding to each of the mRNAs being made in the cells that were analyzed. If the growth conditions are then altered, the pattern of DNA bands will change. In many cases multiple bands will appear, and multiple bands will disappear, thus allowing multiple random genes to be analyzed rather than just a single gene of interest as in RT-PCR.